Preview. Preview. How do you people see the signs of God and then pretend like you don't see the signs of God? How do you see another universe or another planetary system coming into our system and you sit there and you pretend like another planetary system is not coming into our system? I'm, 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 I'm going to pose a challenge to the fearful the fearful who always come to the video saying this is not real here's what God have to say Revelations 21 8 but the fearful shall have their share in the lake of fire the fearful when you come in here because you in sin you gay you carnal you contentious you malicious you disrespectful you murderous you know you you, you habitually carnal and then you, you, you come here fearfully saying that this don't exist. Here's a challenge for you, fearful lake of fire inhabitants. Produce this. You do it. You show me this. And then you close up in on it with your cameras. These are the signs of God. And God turns away. He turned away the wrongdoers from his signs. Even if you saw the signs. Just like you do, you come here and you deny them. You deny what you see. Uh, that's not on me. That's not on nobody in the world except for yourself. You are the one who have to burn in the lake of fire for this for eternity. You're the one who is not getting out of hell. You know, it's something to think about. And as I said before, you produce these videos. Tell, tell me something, fearful people. Uh, is this a plot worldwide? Is this a bunch of idiots worldwide who who want to scare the Jenkins out of you? So they put these videos together like this just to scare the Jenkins out of you? You know. Or is it two freaking suns in the sky? And it's a sign. And what is that sign? That sign is the return of God. And you know what that sign is. Uh, God said he was bringing a new heaven and a new earth a new heaven these are different planets oh that's what we call it but uh, what does God say a new heaven and a new earth is going to be brought and this earth is going to be destroyed this earth is going to be no more look it up you know uh, for the people who don't believe I I ain't even say I feel sorry for you because I don't it's like how dumb can you be you know your government believe in a God your government definitely believe in evil you know you don't you know uh, they impose on all these statutes and everything else that is going to bring down you know hell upon your heads you know and you don't understand their aim and what they're doing come on you know so we have a lot of people coming to the videos uh, expressing their uh, concerns about fear mongering. Show me that. Show me that. Show me. Show, show me fear mongering. You know, here's two. Here's people looking at two suns in the sky, and they're all filming it. Some is filming it from one way to the next way. Uh, uh, you know, there's one over there. There's one over there. And people are filming it from both directions. And, and then here's the thing. Uh, laugh now. Weep later. Laugh now. Weep later. You know. Why are these people filming this? Because it's something that we never saw. And as a matter of fact it's three suns. You know three planets. And it may be a sun and planets reflecting off of the sun. Who knows? You're going to let science tell you that it's uh, space dust? You're going to let science tell you that it's an aurora? It's a reflection when you can clearly visibly see a sun in there? What type of reflections does this? And when, when did the earth start reflecting itself? You know, anything to soothe the sinner, huh? 
anything to soothe you so you can keep on being gay you can keep on uh, murdering and killing you can keep on selling drugs and getting money by illegal means anything to soothe you don't you know that they're patting you on the head pacifying you showing these, you these shows putting you under the spell letting you listen to all this weird freaky music to soothe you until you burn in the fire it's the whole devil's aim coming to you like a friend and a sincere advisor you know a confidant you know this so you know hey enjoy yourself the government is not your friend they saying it's all all right to be gay they saying it's all right to be transgender you know they trying to use sex changes uh it, it's, it's all right to drink you know it's all right to, to, to do drugs we legalizing weed you know and what's wrong is prayer in the school you know get that prayer out of the school because that's wrong he's seeing uh, the sun rays going upwards towards the sky as in if a light is shining from the bottom of the sun reflecting the sun up like a flashlight oh now you get the idiots that's going to come here and say whoo Oh, the world has big power, and they they sent out some uh, items into space. Uh, um, imagine how big this item would have to be to make the sun do that worldwide. Imagine how big this item would have to be that they sent to space, and how much efforts they haven't even reached the moon yet. Nuclear weapons don't even exist. Why don't you look it up? You know. A lot of their big power crap is false. They have you to believe that is the Wizard of Oz. So that they can keep the people in check. If you know they were little cowering old scared characters. Uh, you would get out of hand on them. You would definitely get out of hand. Um, for the people who don't even know what you're looking at. The sun don't shine like a flashlight. These are the signs of God. You know, and most people drive right past this and ignore it. You ignoring the signs of God. And there, there, there is many, many, many more things. But, you know, who, who could tell you anything? The average person is hard to talk to you. You know why? Because if we ain't talking about your vanities, if we ain't talking about your exterior things, most people, you know, uh, the believers, we're eternal, interior uh, the, we're, we're with the spirit of God the disbelievers you guys are exterior uh, with your penis size with your breast size with your ass size you know uh, how much money do you have you know uh, do you look good you know exterior things worthless things to invest in because each thing is worthless so you're going to go to God on the day of judgment and tell him how big your penis is? You know, and, and, and how, how well you did with the ladies fornicating and committing adultery? You know, doing shameful, abominable acts? You're going to go to God and tell him that? You know, does that matter? What, what matters when the earth is shaking? Somebody tell me what matters when the earth is shaking. Somebody tell me what matters when you're in severe pain. What matters when meteors are falling out of the sky? Please tell me what matters when you're seeing meteors fall. What matters when you're in three days of darkness? What matters if the government come and seize you and your family and put you in uh, martial law camps, FEMA camps, you know, concentration camps, death camps? You know, look at the moon. The moon doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. Look at the moon. The moon's going to disappear right in the sky. The moon doesn't do this. And they said, oh, the government, they, they put reflectors up in space. And these, re these, these reflectors, they, uh, they, they cause, they're just fake. It's not real. These are optical illusions. And, and the moon's not real. Nothing's real to you fools. You know, the government have no such power. You guys are idiots. Here's a moon and another moon in the sky. You know, what is it going to take for you guys to say, hey, these are the signs of God? This is not normal. 
you know, you, you watch the average news, they're going to say, ah, hey, people are spotting because too many people have spotted it in the news. Now we have to report about it and he gives it, he give you our lies. Uh, see, there's a dot in the sky right there. Uh, the military says they were uh, testing a new weapon and stuff like that, and they didn't really mean for people to see this, but of course they tested the new weapon right over the city and testing the weapon right over the city we saw this and most people saw this don't be frightened please don't be come on it's the devil coaxing you hey go about your business keep fornicating keep being gay keep watching adult channels keep being uh, uh, sick some, some people think you know you do your stuff in private and God ain't watching you look you can be sick in private you can do your drugs in private you can watch porno in private you can eat wrongful food in private. You can do everything in private and you're fine. You're not fine. You're going to hell. All idolaters. All all, all of you. All whoremongers. Every whore is going to hell. You can't do no whoredom in private. All the fearful is going to hell. You know, all the unbelievers. All the uh, abominable people. That's the gay people. You're going to hell. God detests you. Away from me. You don't know me. You know. And. Uh, I don't care about money. I don't care about your ratings. I don't care if you liked or disliked. I don't care if you unsubscribed. I'm not even here for that. And you can see I don't care. Look what I'm saying. I'm not here to appease you idiots. I'm here to tell you what God told me to tell you that his kingdom is coming. His will be done, not yours. On earth as it is in heaven, uh, look at the earth and compare it to the heaven. It's something wrong with the earth. There's something wrong. And soon will you know there's something wrong. Because just like I said, uh, we're saying things that we have never saw before that we can't explain this going across the sky and all this the moon you know uh, planes everything else you know you seeing things you never saw before ever and we living in those days the fish is dropping dead they're floating up you know why and I tell you why iron oxide foes and it's coming from that planet and it is wormwood whatever you want to call it the gentile destroyer you know you know how many people have dreams about these two moons that's in the sky? You know, it was it was like the other day a bald eagle just dropped dead out of the sky. For real, and that's no lie. That's a sign of America's fall to me. It was just right there on the road. It was a nice, beautiful bird that looked healthy as hell. Dropped dead right out of the sky. You know, people are seeing birds drop dead out of the sky. Cows just fall over. Uh, uh, 70,000 deer and antelope die at a time you know what is this somebody tell me this you, you can't even explain these things no more you're seeing these magnificent things that God is showing you these are the signs of God what are the signs of God the signs of God are indicators fool indicators they don't have to be absolutes the, the sinners always look for absolutes these are indicators pointing to a certain thing. That is a sign. A sign can be an indicator and a sign can be an absolute. You know, quit looking for the absolute. You know, just because you don't see it, it don't mean that it don't exist. You know, uh, like I said, is it a worldwide conspiracy? Did we all come together just to put this, this frightened little old stupid you do we even know you? Do we even know you're going to be frightened? You know, or we, 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 we put these videos together to make asses out of ourselves. That's what we did. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Other people say, don't curse, don't do this. Because you have this kind of lamb image, you know. And it's a false image. It's a false image. That, that the English language itself is profanity to God. Turn the English language around backwards and, 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 and it is a blasphemy. Turn God around backwards. It's blasphemy. The English language itself is blasphemy.
you know, a yes I can backwards is thank you Satan. And if you turn a lot of music back backwards, it is Satan worship. What does it say about the English lang language? It was it's purposely is a backwards language to 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 hate and defy God. It is, and you think you think find me somewhere where it says don't use profanity because God don't approve of the word f and he don't approve of the word uh, ass or he don't approve of the word uh, quit putting words in God's mouth that ain't there who said he don't approve of any word he used to use whatever it takes to turn your people back to the light out of the darkness whatever it takes to to get the people to wake up I'm sorry but you can't talk to people normally today People don't respect nice, and you know it. You know, you can't be like, Hi, do you get Christian? Hi, I'm here to tell you about Jesus Christ. Nobody want to hear that. It's almost like, F you, stand up. What are you doing with your stupid freaking life, you freaking moron? You know, you got to really get in people's, A, you got to shake people. You got to wake them up. You, you ain't going to wake up somebody like, Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Oh, please, wake up. For God's sake, wake up. You're not. You got to scare the holy crap out of somebody to wake them up today. And then they, when, they, when, when the holy crap is scared out of them good and thorough, then they might get up and do something about their pathetic life. You know, they overtaken life by demons. God said in Deut Deuteronomy 28 that the demon becomes the head and you becomes the tail. It will lend to you and you will not lend to it. And all it's going to lend to you is evil. You know, the whole world is legend. The whole world is Nephilim right now. You're not even talking to humans anymore. Everybody I meet, I consider you a Nephilim. And, and until it's like the Bible said. You prove, you discern that the spirit is from God. The spirit from God is going to speak God's words. The spirit of the Nephilim is going to speak about the world. What is the world? The outer things. The exterior. Does his teeth look nice? Is he muscular? Is he this? Is he that? Is he gay? Is he straight? That's what the world is. How much money does he make? Uh, is he popular? Does he got a record deal? Is he on TV? You know. Is he a doctor? Like these things matter in the kingdom of God. You know. Was Jesus a doctor? Was he? You know. He went to a job every day. Or was his job preaching to the, the lost uh, sheep of Israel. To get them uh, back on, 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 on the straight path. No, that was his job. Back on the straight path. And I, and I ain't forgetting about what I just said. I said most people that you talk to are demons. That, that when, when God said that the, in Deuteronomy 28. That the, 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 the evil one inside of you was going to consume you. And overtake you, it did. And it speaks. And, and, and you, you say, oh, this person changed. They used to be a good person. No, that person, the demon is speaking for that person. And the person is unaware that the demon is speaking and suggesting these evil things to you 24-7. Go be sexual. Go smoke some weed. Go do drugs. Go do this. And most people you, you talk to, is, is, is you talking to demons. You rarely are talking to humans anymore. It is the time of Noah. And you are talking to straight up demons. The police are demons. Come on, psychotic. Look how they're killing people. The demon completely take over. And these ignorant fools that shoot, they don't care about human life. They're killing kids. They kill. Look at the people that is, 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 is killing. And you know they're putting. Look up Heck. H-E-K-293. You know. Look that up. They're putting human fetuses in the food. At McDonald's and everything else. These people are demons and demonic. They put blood in the water supply. You know, poisons all in your food. This is the society that you're living in. You know, and uh, this is what you get. Because God said he's going to make you eat your babies. He did. That's a punishment. And you are eating your babies without even knowing it. Heck, 293, look it up. What is it? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a fetus additive that they use as a flavor no wait, in McDonald's to make the food taste better. Human being babies, you're killing babies to make your food taste better? You know. 
why the gen the, the, the Jew is calling you goyim, and they, they're the ones who promoting that. They want you to eat your own babies, you know, and read the book about uh, typing in Bible and, and, and eating of of your own children. Type it in, and you'll find it. And it's a curse that on the people. And all these curses that come upon you. And you people are so used to curses that you made a way out of life out of curses and misery. You know, when you have to go to the doctor, when you in pain, when you got problems, when bad things has happened to you, it's because you damn curse. And good and damn curse. Because when you bless all these things that come upon you in Deuteronomy 28, all these blessings that come upon you and overtake you and overtake you. And everything that your hands touch is going to be blessed. When you turn, when you touch your marriage, you cursed it. It went downhill. When you touch the woman, you cursed her. It went downhill. The man, you cursed him. It went downhill. Your children ain't acting right. They curse. They cursing you out. You know, the, the police, the cursed cops is pulling you over and giving you nine hundred dollar tickets. Come on, and you and you broke. They stealing from the poor. Come on, look at this wicked country we, we, we reach the pinnacle we're at the end and you people are done done and as in the day of the Noah you're going to keep marrying you're going to keep partying you're going to keep doing drugs you're going to keep fornicating y'all gay you know a bunch of devils you know that took over the Nephilim then took over the gen demon seed then took over yeah, the gen demon seed. Either you the seed of God or you the seed of Satan. And that's that's the truth. It's two species here on earth. The seed of God and the seed of Satan. The seed of God had a spirit of God on them. The seed of Satan uh, missed that. And so they won with the world. They won with Satan's plan and order. And most people are the seed of Satan. They are the Nephilim. They are the Nephilim. Really look it up and read and research. You know. Wrap the news. Tell me what y'all think. Peace.